Well, welcome, welcome to, to church. church. Good morning, everybody. We are the Sams family. I am Professor Sean Sams. This is my beautiful bride, Tamar. We are so grateful and so thankful that you joined us this morning. We love you. Yes. So joining us, we want to encourage you to like, comment, and share. Remember, Pastor loves when you participate. So let us know where you're coming from. Let us know what the Lord's been doing in your life. We'd love to hear from you. So share with your family, your friends. Also, join us in person if you're here in Columbus or in the Elkhart, Michiana area. Also, for more info or directions, go to whc.life. Now, Pastor Parsley has a special gift for you, a digital download of Pursue, Overtake, and Recover All. If you'd like this, this digital download, leave your email in the comment section and we'll send that right out to you. This is an amazing series. I love this one. I was really blessed by this one. Now, speaking of being blessed and things about revival as we continue in this revival season, I, I don't know if you know this about World Harvest, but we've been in revival here for yes. 40 set spiritual authority again. We've got effective leadership. And my favorite, yes. we're going to talk about stories, yes. the parables. So there is still time to register. Go to whc.life. And for those that will be coming early to register here, make sure you're here by 5.30. Remember, classes start at 6 p.m., so make sure you're here early at 5.30 to register. Now, speaking on revival, Pastor Samuel Rodriguez said this about Pastor's book, Revival If. He said, your soul could, could feast on the introduction alone. Wow. So you definitely want to make sure you get your author's signed edition at revivalif.com. It's a must read. So you can be revived just being here on World Harvest Church. You can be revived through Valor Christian College and Faith and Family Nights, having Revival If. And one specific way that's coming up that you do not want to miss, coming up really soon, yes. VIP Weekend. Take a moment, watch this exciting clip. You're letting every devil in hell know you can't have my future, you can't have my calling, you can't have my anointing. We set ourselves on a collision course with the forces of darkness. We take our cities back, we take our churches back, and tomorrow we change the world. Every time the devil builds a Goliath, God always has a David. God always has an anointing available to destroy that yoke. To be the greatest soul winner that this world has ever seen. God just want to test your faith to see if you still know how to call the name Jesus. Mark your calendars right now, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, March 3rd, 4th, and 5th. You do not want to miss this. So it, registration is open now, but you have to go to theevent.vip to register. You're going to want to make sure that you're here. Now, a lot of people get concerned because they say, what about cost? Registration is absolutely free. We're going to open the doors. We invite all to come, but you have to register. Make sure you go and register today, theevent.vip. Most importantly, not only is it free, but there's everyone in attendance will have an opportunity to win a World Changer Scholarship. Be here Sunday morning when we announce our winners. Yes, go to whc.life for more info. Service begins in, in 90, 90 seconds. seconds.
Well, good morning, World Harvest Church, and those of you watching with us, I dare you to put everything out of the way, push everything aside, and help us worship the King. Here we go. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, a strong tower for me. There is a place where freedom can be found. It's in the name. It's in the name. There is a shelter where joy and peace abound. It's in the name. It's in the name. Help me sing it. The name of the Lord is a strong.
That's all you have to say, because he is. He just is. Jesus is. If you need a healer this morning, he's a healer today. Jesus is. He bought me with his blood. He bought me with his blood. One last time, everybody say, Jesus is. you Jesus we lift your name high you are the target of our hearts affection we worship and bless your name as we lift you high come on believers all across the world in this tabernacle on social media we worship you Jesus it's you we seek and you we long for let the worshipers arise and bless the Lord hallelujah to the King Come like you want to. Jesus, have your way. Is that your heart this morning? God of the breakthrough. No, nothing can stop you. Father, we say, let your believe us declare this out with us say you're falling now like heaven's rain enthroned upon your children's praise you're tearing down your God walls that we made as we worship as we sing here we go we welcome we welcome the healer in this place Welcome the God who makes a way. Say that name. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. And I'm King of Heaven. Say, I King of Heaven. Here in our presence. Here in our presence. Oh, how good you are. Oh, how good you are. You've always been.
All together, we lift up our voices and say, let you live in water. Let your Come on, hungry people. Cry out to the Lord. Fall on sons and daughters. Sons and daughters. Open and receptive. We will not resist your heart. Look, only you could do. Come and bring the breakthrough. Sing it out. Come and bring the breakthrough. We Come on, right there. That's so good.
together. knowing that the Father welcomes you with open arms today. this morning. presence. Come on. Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. I can feel his mighty power, his mighty power and his grace. His grace that is sufficient. Changing the gear, just staying right there. We worship you. We worship you, God. We worship you. Imperfect, and yet we worship you. Made mistakes, and yet we can still worship you.
shall stand in his holy place. He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not lift up his soul to what is false and does not swear deceitfully, he will receive a blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Such is the generation of those who seek him. Such is the generation of World Harvest Church. Such is the generation of City Harvest Network. Such is the generation of those assembled here today. Lift up your heads, O gates, and be lifted up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in, that the King of glory may come in, that the King of glory may come in. Everyone lift your hands if you're able and willing. Lift those hands and wave them as unto the Lord. God, you inhabit the praises of our people. We give you honor. We give you a wave offering. We give you a wave offering. Hands lifted high, an international sign of surrender and obedience, our outcry of hunger that we want you and we are available. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord strong. Strong and mighty, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord strong and mighty, you say, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord strong and come on, say, the Lord strong and mighty, 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 the Lord strong and Let your worship arise to the Lord. The Lord God strong and mighty. The Lord God strong and mighty. The Lord God mighty in battle. Who never failed and he never will. The God of my salvation. God of my salvation, the God of my forgiveness, the God of my redemption, the God of my breakthrough, the God of my open door, oh, the King of my heart.
On three, I need every person that has ever been delivered. Delivered. I mean, could nobody help you but God? I mean, delivered. I mean, you were bound and now you're free. I mean, you were blind and now you see. I, I mean, you could not get free and now you could run through a troop and leap over a wall. I, 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 I. If God saved you, delivered you from sickness, broke the bondage of hell, broke addiction, put your family back together, gave you back your right mind on three, Shout one, two, three. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. I want you to scream a praise right in front of your adversary as God prepares a table in the presence of your enemy. Give me an altar room. Don't leave me. Give me an altar room. Just give me an altar room. Right? Because the presence of God, no, you miss him. Have you not called and have I not answered, says the Lord? Have you not sought me and can you not find me? Did you shout to me and I now inhabit your praise, says the Almighty of Israel. Okay, here we go now. Okay, here we go now. The presence of the Lord is more than for you to roll your eyes back like a dying calf. And have some sort of an emotional response. No, it's deeper. He is here. Give him glory. You asked him to come. He is here. You asked him to heal. He is healing. You are. Hear me. Hear me. God is a God of timing. God is a God of purpose. God is a God of intention. And he intends, so I said, every person in Elkhart, Indiana, now free. Oh, I hear demons screaming. Why aren't the shot saints shouting? I hear paralysis leaving, depression going, blindness coming out, miracles descending as praise is ascending. There's 
is outgoing, which is bringing incoming. If he ever delivered you, let hell and heaven know. Now bless him that that affliction shall not arise again. What's going on? Hello, oh, Pastor. Pastor, this is Katie, and this is Jesse Pohl. Yeah, I, I know and, them. Yes, and he was bound, hopelessly bound, by addiction for 20 years. He came to the altar. Wait a minute. He was bound 20 years. 20 years. He addicted said. Addicted to what? Heroin. Anything he could get his hands on. And he, she said it destroyed their family. Yeah, the wife said, this destroyed our family. Yes. Yeah. And he came to the altar 60 days ago. He was delivered, and he's been set free ever since. 60 days ago. Yes. At this altar, yes. set free. Yes. Nah, still free. I want you to give 60 praises right now. Deliver. Watch it. Watch it. Turn Aislinn's mic up. Turn Aislinn's mic up. Watch. Just do what I tell you. Shout the first three words. If my people. Again. If my people. Who? Who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Yes, then I will hear from heaven and I will heal their land. Okay, okay, who's it addressed to? Who's it addressed to? Who's it addressed to? Say me. me. If you're his people, let the redeemed of the Lord turn around and tell three people, I'm born again. Look three people in the face. Tell them, I'm on my way to heaven. Turn back around and ask them, are you ready to go to heaven? Because if you're not, Pastor's going to pray. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you can leave today ready to go to heaven. Because what's in here is bigger than what's on you. God is bigger. I'm telling you to talk to somebody. God is bigger. Talk to somebody. God is bigger. Ask him. Don't play with it. Don't laugh at him. Ask him, are you ready to go to heaven? Because Jesus may come today. Tell him there are only two choices. Heaven or hell. And you don't want to go to hell. You want to go to heaven. So right now, I will pray with you oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. so you know you're on your way to heaven. Yes, 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 yes. Anybody? Anybody? Raise your hand. Hallelujah. I don't want to go to hell. I want to go to heaven. Right, right, right. Come on, raise your hand if that's you. Come on, they're coming. If they say they want to know Jesus, bring them right now. Come on, let's pray. Here they're coming, there they're coming, there they're, come on. You win them. You win them right now. Come on. You bring them. While we sing, go make sure everybody is ready to go to heaven. Go. 
go. If you won't witness here, you won't witness out there. Go on. Come on, darling. I don't see you moving. Here come three more. Come on. This is your moment. Hell breaks off you today. Fear leaves you today. Sin goes today out of your life. Come on. On, here come three more. There comes one, two, three, four, five, six, six right there. Come on. Come on. Why is this guy coming by himself? Everybody on the front row, go ask 10 people if they're ready to go to heaven now. Go. Not just behind you. Get to the back. Get to the back. Nobody goes to hell from this service. Now, God is pouring out his spirit. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. You make the best decision you'll ever make in your life. That's right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Look all the way back the aisle. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here come two more. Come on. There come two more. Come on. There comes another. There comes two more. Why aren't you shouting? Why are you... And I'm going to say it. Yeah. I have not been out of revival for 47 years. Come on, sir. Come on. Come on, sir. 
Revival is a lifestyle. Revival is an oh, here's a little drop for you for two weeks. Come on. And then everything goes back to normal. Right, right, right. When there's true revival, cities are shaken. Souls are saved. Alcoholics are delivered. Drug addicts are set free. And the glory of the Lord manifests itself. Give him the glory. Do his name. What's going on, baby? Pastor, I have two different families here with me. Wait a minute, two Bert, families? Two families here with me. Two families? Yes, sir. They're having 20,000 people at meetings, which I think is great. The problem is they're all Christians. Shout God. God. The, apex the apex of all Christian endeavor, all Christian must, endeavor. Become must become to place jewels, to place jewels of, souls of souls in your crown, in your crown. So, that so that the Lamb of God slain, slain may, receive may receive the reward, the reward of, his of his suffering. We won't be satisfied. Until a nation, a nation is born in a day. Okay, hold on now. Watch this. Watch this. If, you know, there's that little connector. If my people, great specificity, you watching online, are you his people? Come on, come on. If you're in Columbus, why aren't you here? Come on, come on. Hallelujah. See, nobody likes this. Everybody just wants to. For what? For Christians to feel God's presence. I haven't been to a service in this church in my life that the presence of God didn't hover in here like a cloud. Elder Canfield, you've been here 40 years. Is that true? When we were in 180 seats, was that true? When we were in 400 seats, was that true? When we were in 1,200 seats, was that true? From the first service in this building until today, have we ever not been heavily in the presence of God? He said no. But we know why. I want you to have personal renewal. Dear God, we need it. Right, right, right. But we have a mission, and it's right here. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. If you've been so much in the presence of God, why didn't you bring anybody with you today? You mean there wasn't one person that you could have said, come and follow me? That's what Jesus said. When are we going to start saying what Jesus said? Come and follow me. Be like that woman. If you, if you haven't ever watched The Chosen, you should watch it 10 times this week. You watch every filthy filth on the television, Come on. Come on. on Roku, YouTube, and Pity Patter, and Tickety Talk. And, but somebody puts out something historically, scripturally accurate. I get in my face. I can't take it. When Jesus 
meets that woman at the well. He told his disciples, how ah, you, you all want to play church? Go ahead. I'm going to go over here to Samaria. I'm going to go over here where it's tough. I'm going to meet a Samaritan woman who I'm not supposed to talk to. Right. This will end racism. Why isn't anybody shouting? Do you believe what's in this room will take care of bigotry and racism? Let's not forget Jesus was brown. Actually, he was olive, but. And in there it shows, those of you that have seen it, you remember the scene. Oh, God's going to make you a soul winner. Oh, Jesus. I want you to give God glory for every soul she's going to win, right? So you've seen it, Pastor Chris. She goes up there and, and you know, she's getting her water. He said, why don't you give me a drink? She said, what are you doing talking to me? My people don't talk to your people. Come here, this will work better with you. Come here, elder. Come here. She, she said, she said, no, my people don't be talking to your people. That's right. There's a line. Uh -huh. You're on one side of the political spectrum. Amen. I'm on the other side. I don't go to your house. You don't come to mine. That's right. You don't want your children playing with my children. That's right. And I sure enough don't want mine playing with yours. This is the gospel. I love it. I love, I'll worship with you all night long. But this, that's not the gospel. Thank God for it. Thank God for people that need it. But I got up this morning feeling fine. I woke up with heaven on my mind. Ah, all the joy that overflows my soul. I got Jesus. I got Jesus. Fall in love with Jesus, Jesus. now. Yeah. Fall in love with Jesus. Fall in love with Jesus. She said, Jesus said, give me a drink. She said, draw your own water. You Jew. He said, lady, hey, 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 if you knew what kind of water I could give you. He said, you're going to get thirsty. He said, you're going to get thirsty again drinking that, but I got some water I can give you. And you will never thirst again. You'll never need a joint again. You'll never need a shot again. You'll never need a buddy again. You'll never need to be sexually impure ever again. He said, I break that mess off of you. You are the living water. He said, I break that mess off you. You are the living water. Here's the point. And she, he said, hey. You've had husband at a husband. That's right. 
at a husband, and every time he said her eyes get big. She was like, oh, Jesus. And he's like, right. <laughs> Look at somebody and tell them, Jesus is right. Jesus is right. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. So, and the one you with now, that you're trying to get divorced from, but the law won't let you. is the one you're living with is not your husband. Uh, he didn't say that. He said, girl, you know you shacking. That's it. Come on, get Jesus where you live. I said, get Jesus where you live. Don't be using that 1611 Elizabethan language with somebody. That's good. Everybody say, girl. You know you shacking. And she said, wait a minute now. There no Insta, there's no Instagram. There's no Twitter. How you know that? Jesus, right. And he said, now listen, here's how it's gonna get around here. Here's how it's going to get around here. He said, now, sister, sister, she, she dropped her water pots. Yes, she did. Some of you about to drop your water pots today. What you've been depending on from your, for your joy, what you've been depending on for your peace, what you've been delivering on for your money, what you've been depending on for your relationships, all coming to you wrapped up in one great big package. His yeah. name is Jesus. Jesus. She said. He said. He said, no, sis. Listen. I ain't put this on social media yet. Because I don't want anybody knowing about me yet. He said, now, whatever you do, here's what I'm going to be telling people on Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. Whatever you do, don't bring anybody to church next week. Don't tell nobody anything that he did for you. No, I'm going to tell you that. That's what Jesus did. That's what Jesus said. Don't tell nobody. Whew. Hold on now. And all of a sudden, she became, what's that girl's name, Griner or something? Track star. today no every burden every weight every self-sufficiency watch this what comes before praise humble you know why because a prayerless life is a life of pride. Here's what you're saying. I got it figured out. I got the best doctor. I got the best lawyer. God's going to fix a life for you that does not make him unnecessary. You're going to develop this. 
what that woman with the issue of blood had. I got that. I got I can't I can't miss church. I don't go to have to tell you to come to church. You be like, I cannot miss church. I got to have more Jesus. Am I making sense? She took off running. Screaming. Y'all, come and see. This man told me every bit of my whorishness. He told me all about my adultery. No, you like me. He had to tell her not to tell anybody, and she couldn't. She started running through town screaming it so that everybody else that was a whore and everybody else that was an adulterer and everybody else that was a drunk and everybody else that was addicted to heroin and everybody else could see what Jesus could. Shout if you're not dead. All right, baby. All right, baby. You said two families. Yes, sir. Families. Two families. It's not even all about the one Sunday. That's right. Come on. But you know what's been happening? People been getting in the presence of God. People have been humbling themselves and praying. People have been repenting. Some of y'all are like, oh, not me. Here's when we stop repenting. When we stop sinning. Like the sin of prayerlessness. The sin of some of you haven't touched your Bible since last Sunday. The sin of lack of witness. The sin of talking in tongues but inviting nobody to church. Uh -oh, uh -oh. So everybody that has something to repent of, you got angry. You're a glutton. You ain't fasted in 40 years. Right? See, it's a four-part formula. Four-part formula. One, humble yourself. Number two, pray. Number three, number three, seek my face. You know why he wants you to seek his face? So you come face to face with him. You ever notice people talk behind your back, but not to your face? He says, put your hand behind your neck, say, come on. Let me look at you. Let me bless you. Let me take off your everything hell put on you. Let me put Hallelujah. back on you everything hell took off. Hallelujah. Shout! Okay, baby. Two families. Two families. So first, this is Michaela. She's one of our amazing Valor Christian College students. I recognize you. She's from right here in Columbus. She what? She's from Columbus. She's local. You're local. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And so this is her mom. This is one of her brothers that's 16. And then this, come come here, baby. This is Tamir. And he's, Jump, Tamir. he's six years old. He was water baptized today. Hallelujah. So, a six-year-old kid getting baptized. So, let's worship some more. We're going to worship. Because I'm coming back in here Wednesday night for revival 
and the doors are open. Shout if you're coming. Clap if you're coming. Clap if you're going to bring somebody away. Wednesday night, it's on. Where's Elder Sherman? No, it wasn't Elder Sherman. It was, it was here. You do what you're doing, Pastor. Whoever said that? Pastor Sherman. Pastor Sherman. It was him? No, no, it was um. It was a um, young lady named um, Derek Williams and Miss Shanita Williams. Is, well, are Derek, are the Williamses here, Derek? And, they're not. All right, so, so they sent you a text this morning. Yeah, they sent me a text this morning. And we, while we was in a meeting with Pastor, Pastor shared with me, with us, what she had in the text. And so, 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 so wait. Holy Ghost told me to do this Friday. You know what revival is? catch the wind there's a revival of praise jump in there's a revival of presence jump in there's a revival of worship jump in there's a revival of souls jump in jump 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 everybody jump I expect you City Harvest Network pastors to get yourself in here Wednesday night you say, how long we going to go? I don't know. I didn't know I was going to do any of this. But I know the wind of God. I've been doing this 47 years. And when the wind shifts, I shift. And when I shift, y'all shift. Everybody say, shift. So, I didn't tell anybody. I told four people. I told four people that I'm not, I'm not doing just live online this Wednesday night. They said, Pastor, you can't do it. You got to do Sunday morning. And now you're going to do Wednesday night. And then you got to do Sunday night because God told me something else to do on Sunday night. And, and, and I'm going to do that. And then I got to go to Tampa and preach Friday night. And then I got to go be with Brother Copeland on Friday night. And then I'm going to be back in here on Sunday. And in between, I'm going to do five television shows. And they said, you can't do that. Tell God. Because when he says go, Shout, thank you for what you're about to do Wednesday night. So, here's the point. Nobody knew. Nobody knew. And so this morning, I met with the teachers, right? Yes, sir. And that was at 9 o'clock. Yes, sir. What's that time? 8.13. 8.13. This morning. So we haven't even come in the room yet. And members of this church text Elder Jimmy and said what? They said that she had a dream that we were going to have a revival and it's going to start on Wednesday night. Praise him like you were 45 minutes ago. Tell seven people, God is moving at the harp. Go tell seven people. Hey, you get your teenagers in this. They won't be looking for something to get high on. They be looking when we going back to church. Shout, yes. Yeah. 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 All right. All right. So, 
So Tamir got water baptized, and then he was one of the first uh, Tamir down in six. He's six years old, got water baptized this morning, and he was one of the first in the altar to give his heart to Jesus yeah, but today. Wait a Your religious self says, wait a minute. It's backwards. Go get saved first. Said who? Hello. Come on. Said who? That's right. This is what's wrong with the church. Those silly preachers online being critical. Because at, at Asbury, there are no women leading. No, because there are women leading. Yeah, they're being critical. They, had, they got women on the platform. Who was the first preacher of the resurrection? Misogynistic religion. Thank God for women. The church would have stopped moving centuries ago if it wasn't for women. Being critical. 20,000 people there yesterday. But we, that's wonderful, but we didn't hit revival yet. Not revival, revival. When 20,000 get saved. Come on. See? Right? But the church got to get right first. And that's what's happening. And we bless God for it. I bless God for it. Hallelujah. Always got to be critical about something. That's a spirit. Six years old. I baptize him again if he wants it. That's right. That's right. And next Thursday, too. Wouldn't hurt some of you to take another dip. Who's that one? So this is Miss Anicia. Hi, Miss Anicia. And this is one of her three children, seven years old, named Mally. And Miss Marquita yeah. met her yeah. at the dental office where she works. Stop. Mm -hmm. Stop. You met this precious beautiful young woman with three children. Yes, sir. She don't look old enough to wallpaper. <laughs> and you met her at the dental office the where she works and invited her to church with her family. That's revival. Hallelujah. That's revival. That's real. If my people will do something besides just go to church. So, so, so not only are they at the altar, all of them, to give their hearts to Jesus. And yeah. this precious seven-year-old, he was just crying and crying and crying and saying, I just want to get to heaven. I just want to make sure I can get to heaven. And a little child shall lead them. And so they've all already today here at the altar signed up for water baptism. And Miss Anicia said, I don't want to just attend church here. I want to raise my children here. And I'm believing that every single one of them are going to go to Harvest Preparatory School. How many of them are there? There's three, seven, little baby, well, baby four Kate months, Brilliant. four months, and is that two. One in, is that one in preschool, a two-year-old? No. Not yet, no. two. So just this one? Seven. He first, said, first what? grade. First grade. Oh, you're in the first grade. You're very smart. Yeah, right, he said. <laughs> he said, thank you. Okay, so we need you to help us raise our GPAs. So somebody is going to pay for the rest of this school year for you at Harvest Prep. Okay, so who's going to do that? Careful with the hands. Who's going to do that? Huh? You will? You will, because your daughter's here today. Come here.
Come here. Come here. I'll show you what's happening. How long you been an usher? A long time. Over 12 years. Yeah, 12 years been an usher. This beautiful young woman, and if you would like a date, you may submit applications through my office. And you probably don't have it. Because she's full of God. He's been ushering 12 years. She was at the altar last Sunday, gave her life to Jesus back this Sunday. That's revived. I'm going to run if you don't. Somebody run. Somebody run. What's his name? Tell him your name. Maui. 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 No, Maui. 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 Like, like the island. Yes. Maui. Maui. Woo. God's all over him. Yes, God sir. is all over this yeah. child. Yes, yes. Look at this. Yes. Like, mm -hmm. So, uh, Pastor Rod is going to get your uniforms for you. Right. Oh, is that okay? They're really cool. They're fly. You're going to like them. Yes. Okay. I love you, Maui. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. I love you. Give Miss Ashton. She's my daughter. Give her a big hug. That's revival. And nobody cares. Put that on your Instagram. Post about that. All right. One, two. What are you, what are you trying to tell me? This is uh, Amaya. Amaya. And she, too, got baptized this morning. Yeah. She said that she came here a few months ago. Her life was radically changed from the inside out. She's a single mom with two children. And she said, how can I get my children into this Celebrate academy? this young woman. <laughs> Celebrate her. And she, and she, too, just, she too just doesn't want to come to church. She wants to be a part of this church. You're going to be a part of this church. You're going to be a part of this church. Amen. And so are the rest of you. Isn't she beautiful? All right. Everybody in the building on your feet, please in reverence to what God is about to do. God is about to take people as sure for hell as if they were already there. Eternity separated from God and all that is good in a lake that burns with fire. We would all become soul winners, come with me to church inviters, if we ever had any revelation at all of the worth of a soul. Little Maui down there, before he was formed in his mother's womb, God knew him. He knew you too. He knows your next door neighbor. He, he knows the person where you get your dental work done. All it took was an inv invitation. And now an eternal soul is in the kingdom of heaven. Think of that. Isn't that something? So I want us to pray now, and I want us to understand this moment. I want us to realize that every angel in heaven is standing with wings folded, peering over heaven's gate, looking right here right now God's son is kneeling before the throne of our God praying for this right now so let's realize what's going on hell's hold will be broken in a moment every single one of these human persons 
will become a brand new creature that has never existed before. Wow. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, our Father, which art in heaven, holy is your name. I come to you today to accept Jesus Christ, your Son, as my personal Savior. I'm a sinner. And I need a Savior. Lord Jesus Christ, I accept you. I believe in you. I confess you as my personal Lord and my Savior. I will live for you as you show me how. I'm a Christian. I'm going to be back Wednesday night to give you praise for everything you're doing in my life. I am forgiven. I'm on my way to heaven. I could almost shout and clap. Why not? participator this is what we prayed for this is what we fasted for this is why we go out into the streets week after week and compelling them to come in just worship him thank him for his goodness thank him for his mercy worship him for his grace he's a good good father he's a healer he's a deliverer he's a mountain mover he's a way maker he's a miracle worker he's the rose of Sharon He's the rod of Aaron. He's honey in a rock. He's a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. He's the Prince of Peace. He's the Almighty God. He's the Great I Am. He's the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega, the Creator, the Son of God, the Son of Man. He's made you whole today. He's mended your broken heart today. He's delivered you from addiction today. Just worship him. Worship him. Worship hey, look, 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 here's what happens. I, I shared with you beautiful daughter over there, right? The, this usher's beautiful daughter gave her life to Jesus last week. Everybody that's part of this man's family or extended family, raise your hand for me. One, two in the altar three four in the altar and how many back here five in the altar no i know but over here how many back there i didn't see her you didn't see her i didn't see her she's here too she's there she's my second cousin she's my cousin's daughter the whole family's over there how many of them are back there there's like five five back there of this family one salvation at least 10 people from that family here today. Come on, people. Come on, people. Give me a, give me one of my Bibles. I got one. I got one. So there's a lady that works in our children's ministry for like, you know, 15 years. She's a precious lady from Central America. And she got her citizenship and she serves 
Miss Joni, she has for about a decade. Her name is Marlene. And Marlene, she's a little old thing about this big. And she, she, Monday, she came in and she said, oh, pastor, my pastor. And she never, she never bothers me. She just prays for me all the time. But she never bothers me. She asked and she came up to me and she said, Pastor, I have to tell you what happened Sunday. Are you ready? I'm telling you, we're in revival and it's the real deal. Yeah, you know, it's the real deal. It started. All we need is for you to catch the wind. So last Sunday, if you remember, uh, Dr. Scott Camp brought a word. Oh, my Jesus. He brought a word to us. His little precious wife, she didn't say anything in the service. She's another little bitty precious person. She reminds me of Louise Sumrall when I first met her. That's the kind of powerful, but, but quiet, not needing to be seen person she is. So Marlene was standing over by the door and Miss Gina, Dr. Scott's precious wife, walked past and she saw her and she went back, watch, watch. She went back and just gave her a hug. She didn't know who she was, just some little Spanish lady. And she gave her a hug and just walked away. She said, Pastor, hold this for me, son. Everybody pray for my elbow to be healed. Come on. Come on. I can't hear you. How's God going to hear you? Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't want to have surgery on my elbow. Come on. I ain't got time for that. Ain't nobody got no time for that. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. So she says, Pastor, I have to repent. I said, okay, Marlene, what have you done? She said, Pastor, after she hugged me, she said, I haven't felt that anointing since Mother Parsley laid hands on me she said something jumped alive on the inside of me i said yeah i believe it because i know how they live she said i need you to forgive me because i went where you keep bibles for people that don't bring one on the front row And, and she said, the Holy Spirit told me to take four. She said, I'll pay for them. I said, you don't need to pay for them, Marlene. She said, well, I said, what'd you do with them? Well, you need four Bibles. She said, God told me from that moment forward, I will invite people to church every week and I will share what Jesus did in my life every week. Now wait, now wait, some of you that want something to jump alive on the inside of you, lift your hands and say, me, give it to me, Jesus. Be here tonight, be here Wednesday night, pray, open a Bible. So she went to this first gas station, past the church, on Gender Road. She got her Bible and she walked in with a big old Bible like that. She walked up to a wonderful young man. She'd seen him many times. He works at the checkout register. She said, Pastor, he has piercings everywhere and tattoos everywhere I said great oh, look who Jesus came for 
She said, Pastor, I said to him, do you have a Bible? Do you have a Bible? He said, now, ma'am, thank you, but I don't have time for that. There's a long line behind you. All of a sudden, somebody came from the back room and said, I'll open up another counter. And the line started praying. They were all from the church. She said, so he took the Bible. She said, have you ever been invited to church? Do you know how many people have not? 70% of Americans will in their lifetime never be invited to any church. And you're an evangelist. No, you're not. Never been invited to church. He said, I don't like church. She said, well, if you've never been, how do you know? She said, well, I just know if I walked into a church, they'd judge me. And she said, I know who won't judge you. Jesus won't judge you. He died for you. And I know a church. And remember, everybody in the line. Agreement. You got a family member that needs saved. I dare you to leave here today without sharing that name with somebody else to pray over all week. And we'll see 10 of your family here next week. Because we're in red fight. He bowed his head. She led him in the sinner's prayer. Without her saying anything, he left his counter and ran to the back room and got the manager and drug the manager out and said, She'll tell you about Jesus and he won't judge you. Somebody shout revival. 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 I have revival all over me. It's in my heart. I have revival. I'm full of God. Be filled with the Holy Ghost and power. Lift your hands and receive it. Now, 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 has everybody filled out a card? No, should have been done 30 minutes ago. Come on. Okay, everybody at the altar, somebody with a clipboard is going back to your seat with you right now. Off you go. Off you go. It washes white as the has made me He made the I The blood has made me sing. It's not time to go home. Everybody sing. Amen. You can be seated. So just 
some quick instruction because we want to make sure that we get connected with every single one of you that was down here at the altar. Okay, we want to share with you what your next steps are. We want you to sign up for water baptism. We want you to sign up for our what's next class, right? So if you didn't receive a clipboard with a card and our new direction book, which is a gift to you from our pastor, you can see a dream team member in any of our foyers, our lobbies, they'll be sure to get you that new direction book. But what you can do if you didn't receive a clipboard with that connect card, they're in the pew pocket right in front of you. Same card across the board. So you fill that out completely. Mark, there's a place where you can mark down what God did for you today. Salvation, rededication. Again, mark that you want to be a part of what's next class. If you're, if mark you're that you, for the first you're time. with us for the first time. We have a gift Absolutely. for you too. Yes, we have a gift for all of our first time guests. We say that first time you're here, you're a guest. After that, you're family. And we want to bless you with a gift from pastor and the World Harvest Church family. So there's new here signs all throughout the tabernacle. Upon dismissal, if you didn't receive that free gift on your way in, you can certainly do it on your way out. It's got lots of great resources in there that we know will bless you. Amen. Amen. Everybody thank our first daughter, my beautiful daughter, Ashton Blair. Amen. Well, we know this, right? Now, you're going you're gonna to lock in? No, because you're watching her. You're going you're gonna to lock in? Say, I'm going to lock in. I heard the Russian-speaking people. Say, I'm going to lock in right now. All right. We understand several things. If you've been here more than five minutes, silence is the language of Shouting is the language of Victory. clapping is the language of Authority. hands up is the language of surrender. You're so good. You're so good. I'm going to give you one you may not have heard much. Repentance is the language of revival. Anybody saved over here? Repentance is the language of revival, right? If my people called by my name will humble themselves, pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, repent, then, if, then, if we repent, then. Repentance is the goodness of God. Religion made it for you to feel bad. Repentance, your Bible says, is the goodness of God. It's the mercy of God. It's the grace of God. That if you repent, everything's wiped away. Thank you, Lord. Clean slate. Blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The only sin that God cannot forgive is that which is unrepented. That thing that you won't turn away from. God can't forgive that. But if your heart turns toward God and you say, God, I want to go in the other direction. I messed it up. I sinned. And I fell short of your glory. And I asked for your forgiveness. Amen? And then you do your first works over again. Whatever you weren't doing, you do. Whatever you did, you stop doing. It's that simple. The gospel is not complicated. Right? Today, I want you to consider if you need to repent. I did this morning. I don't know how many times since I've been in here. When you gain an awareness of his presence, you will virtually live in a state of repentance as God renews you and makes you into what he wants you to be. The reason people do not repent is pride. Well, I, I got saved and all my sin is forever forgiven. That's not true. That's a lie. And I say it with all grace and candor. That's a lie. 
the book said, and the book is right and they're wrong, these are they who have not had their names blotted out of the Lamb's book of life. If there are those who have not, it stands to reason there are those that have. Let's not forget Judas was called of Jesus, walked with Jesus, saw the miracles, shouted and danced with the best of them, and then sold his Savior out for 30 pieces of silver. Peter had to repent for Pentecost, before Pentecost, for denying Jesus three times in one night. You with me so far? Okay, now watch this. Samuel, the prophet, said to Saul, the people's king. The people's king. Because God answers prayer to the point that he'll give you what you should not have because you kept asking for it. Saul was never to be king of Israel. Never. He was the people's king. They would not recant from telling God they wanted a king that they could see. So he gave them his choices find in Israel. Saul, head and shoulders above everybody else, more handsome than any man in the entire nation of Israel, more prowess, more cunning, more wisdom, walked with more authority. So God chose him. What he was saying is, I'll show you what you can get as opposed to what I would give you. So Samuel, the prophet, says to Saul, the Lord sent me to anoint you to be king over Israel. Now therefore, now here comes the test. Always an if. Here's the test. Say there's a test. A test. I wish the public school system would learn the benefit of tests. Hearken unto the voice of the words of the Lord. Thus says the Lord, go and smite Amalek. Utterly destroy all that they have. Spare, spare, well spare me. Hold back, save, keep. Spare, ooh, this is powerful. Not, spare them not. Slay, and then he gets specific. Slay man and woman, infant and suckling, ox and sheep and camel and aces. I didn't want to offend anyone. So. But Saul, verse 9, and the people spared Agag. You always know who's not a leader when they are moved by the voice of the people. I'm a gospel preacher, I'm not a politician. I don't have to do a survey to see what I ought to preach. I don't have to lick my finger and test the wind of what I think you want. Only 3% of the evangelical preachers in the United States of America, 3% say that they will teach their congregation that Jesus lived a sinless life and that the devil is real, not fiction. 3%. And then when that 3% was asked, would you ever share these truths with your congregation? They said no. And they asked a question, why not? And without exception, the answer was this. We don't want to offend our congregation so that they might not come back. I got, I got preachers down here. I'm going to give you a crash Bible course. Up, 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 up. 
Did I get everybody? Yes, sir. This is Pastor from Maine. Maine. Nathan Pimentel. Kansas City, Brian Gardo. And Valor Christian College graduate, 1999. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is Valor Christian College graduate, what year? 2019. 2019. Salutatorian. But wait. Bishop Amos' wife was that same year the valedictorian. And this is? Bishop Chad McDonald, Cleveland, Tennessee. Cleveland, Tennessee. May all Church of God bow in wonder. We love Church of God. And this your beautiful wife? Yes, Jennifer McDonald. We're so glad to have you. And this, this guy, he, he was like, any time I was in here on Wednesday night, he was in here shouting. He is so faithful and doing such a great job pastoring. This is? Michael Druin, Newcastle, Indiana. And these guys, come on. Come on out here where I can get close to you. This is? Matthew Cutter, Springfield, Missouri. Springfield, Missouri. And his beautiful wife? April Cutter. April. And they all just showed up today. They're like, revival is on, and we need a dose. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so y'all sit down, because I'm going to give you a Bible lesson. Jesus lived a sinless life. Jesus died on a cross. God raised him from the dead on the third day. God sent the Holy Ghost on the day of Pentecost so that we would all be witnesses, not just so we could talk in tongues. If you're not bringing souls, stop talking in tongues. Glory. Give me a hug. I'm so glad you came today. This is this rough guy's daughter. Yes, sir. Yeah. I've discovered, you know why they do that? He's got hair, I can see it. You know why they do that? So they don't have to dye it. I love you. So like, the people and Saul, the people, the minute, preacher, you try to please people, you ought to resign. I preach for an audience of one. And this morning, he has been shouting and dancing and leaping. <clears throat> so anyway, they disobeyed. They would not utterly destroy them. And so Samuel, the prophet, comes to Saul, and he said, Hey, Saul, dude, how's it going? Saul says, I did everything the Lord said. Liar, liar. You know where the biggest thieves and liars in Columbus, Ohio are? In church. They're in church. They might be all around you. I pray not. They might be. I've done everything I was commanded. And Samuel said, wait. I told you to kill all the sheep. I did. What, what's that I'm hearing? You don't praise like you're a tither. Shout like you're a tither. Wave like you're a tither. Sing like you're a tither. And be on my platform, you're a thief. You're a thief. And I don't, I don't even care about the money. It's the anointing you disturb. Because in 2023, agreement is essential. Amen? So I just want to make sure that everybody in revival understands what repentance is. 
So today, you will understand if there's something you're holding back from God, which he has commanded, this is no atmosphere to do that. This is an atmosphere for God to get a hold of you because you need set free. Because the reason you would disobey is because one of two things. The one I believe most readily applies is fear. Well, the economy is bad. Well, the, I, I, well I, but I've got, and then, and then, and, and the kids, and but that's fear. That's fear. And that only occurs when you attempt to give God the tithe of the last, not the first. That's why it's first fruits. You do it first, you'll see that everything else works out. I gave away because that's what God leads me to do. I didn't say God led you to do that. I'm just telling you what I do. John and I, we sow our first entire month's salary the first of every year. We have never done it that God didn't more than make it up. He's a wonder. He's, he's a wonder. Five times God spoke to me to sow a $10,000 seed. Five times. Now, I've sown 10,000, 20,000, 50,000, 100,000, more times than I know. Don't worry, you didn't pay it to me. It's sad. The preacher says he's blessed and the people hold on to their money. I'm blessed because this is the way I live, what I'm teaching you. I know of five specific times that I sold $10,000, me personally, and believed God for a million-dollar miracle for this church. Every time we had that miracle, the longest period of time was 30 days, and one time before I got back home from sowing the seed, it had already come in. Yeah. But that's when God speaks that to me, you see. Other times I just do it because I want to. Amen. This is no time, no time, not to be a tither and a giver of offerings. This is no time. Believe me. God will put a blessing on you. You say, but I haven't been. Y yeah, but when you repent, that's canceled. So we start over. We start today. Now, Holy Spirit, I ask you to speak to every heart. Don't leave any of us out of your blessing. Please get involved in all of our economies. Please get involved in all of our financial dealings. We ask you to do it as we freely obey. For to obey is better than to sacrifice. And disobedience, according to your word, is as the sin of witchcraft. We, we don't involve ourselves in that, God. And we ask humbly for you to forgive us as we correct our course even today and we begin to be a 10% biblical tither and we covenant to give offerings as well. In Jesus' name, for his glory, multiply every seed sown. Breathe revival upon us, God. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Now, if you promise to stay right where you are and worship God, this is worship. With your giving, Pastor Chris is going to come and bless us, and then I've got one final word for you. Is that good? Is that good? I mean, you all been talking about They've been going 24 hours a day. Can we go till noon? <laughs> Amen. Yes, Pastor sir. Chris. Yes, sir. Bless us. God bless you as you give to the Lord today.
Entering gates with thanksgiving. Okay, I've been waiting, 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 and it is finally here. Now, I released a book you may be familiar with. Thank, thank those of you, I saw so many of you that uh, went over to Asbury, thank God for it, and, and, uh, and then posted about the book I released about revival just a few weeks ago. It uh, was a two-year 
labor of love. I write about the Asbury revivals in here. This is the third one. The last one was in 1970. So 53 years ago was the last one. And uh, I write about historical revivals so that you understand what it truly is. Um, I write about biblical revivals. I write about the difference between revival and awakening. And, and there is a difference. There's a, there, there's a very clear, distinct difference. And uh, I, I, want, I want revivals that lead to an awakening. An individual can and should have a revival. A family can be revived. A church can be revived. A college campus can be revived. But an awakening is an entirely different thing. And I'd love for you to get a copy of this and read the difference because we're headed toward it. We're headed toward it. Okay, so that's the book. And then I did a seven day devotional, but then I did a 52 week devotional this is the first time that I brought it out. So the book, the 52-week devotional, the complete study guide of the entire book, and everybody better shout, because look. Give me a, give me a close-up. The audio book is here. And I don't know, it's nine or ten discs. Be seated. How many of you still have a CD player? Yeah, that's good. That's good. All right. We just, we just wonder sometimes, you know, how many CDs we should make of something and how many digital downloads of something that we should make. So we did this both ways. Yes, now there are a lot of folks who helped me do this. Okay? I was going to do the whole thing and y'all preach me too much. So I couldn't do the whole thing, but I did the major section of it. But Dr. Wendell Hutchins, the Assistant General Overseer of City Harvest Network is on here. My beautiful daughter and her beautiful Holy Ghost voice, Ashton Blair, is on here. Real Talk Kim is on here. Dr. Medina Pullings is on here. Senior Elder, the incomparable Bill Canfield is on here. Pastor Natalie Bolt is on here. Bishop R.J. Matthews. Bishop Miles Rutherford, Ambassador. Man, if I had a voice like this guy, I would never stop talking. Bishop David Amos is on here. Pastor Alan DeDio, Pastor Chris Deegan lends his voice of Holy Ghost eloquence. And above all, I'm on here. And you can get it on CD or you can get it digital download. Yes, sir. Right? That's right. And you can get all of, uh, buy new glasses. This, the study guide, the 52 week devotional, the book, and the audio book. You ready? $40. Two $20 bills. Wow. Wow. If you're a Valor Christian College student, you can have it for 20. But you have to show your ID. You have to show your ID. Don't be a poser. Amen. Okay. And Wednesday night. No, wait, Pastor. No, wait. Because we want to let our online family know right. that this deal is available yeah. to you as well, but only for the next 24 hours. 24 hours. So that's get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Yeah, because it's While like it's hot. $70 online. Yes. So. 
Get it today. Revivalif.com. And look, everybody wants to know about revival right now. Yes, sir. Isn't it the timing of God yes. that I released a two-year project right now? Amen. So come on, get immersed in it. It'll be a blessing to you. Wednesday night, yes. revival night in, in cab. person. In cab. And listen. And online. Yes. We're still going to stream online, oh, but yeah. we're here in the tabernacle. Here's something different we're doing with kids, okay? Yeah, yeah. If you have kiddos, so zero through five years of age, we'll have child care provided yep. for nursery, preschool, zero through five. But first graders all the way up through 12th grade, we want your kiddos here Get in the tabernacle. Your kids in Amen. revival. So they're, they're welcome in here in the tabernacle, first grade all the way up yes. to 12th grade. And we want them in the atmosphere. Yes, sir. We want them in the atmosphere. What else, Bishop, have we forgotten over there? If I've forgotten it and Blair's forgotten it, we'll depend on you. Just a reminder, if you gave your life to Jesus today or ah. you dedicated your life to the Lord, be sure that you see one of our dream teamers. You see those purple and white balloons on the way out so we can connect with you. Also, we begin tonight our newest session of Faith oh my. and Family. Wow. Yes, sir. Wow. Faith and Family. We confuse people by saying, like, session three. That makes people think they've already missed two. No, the, these are complete sessions in themselves. So tonight, we have Elder Bill Canfield teaching Watchman Nee's great, great, great work. I want to go through all of it. Here's, here's the deal. Some of y'all think that if you haven't registered by now, it's too late. It's not. No. You can jump in any time. Yeah. We, we want you to register because we want you to RSVP that you're coming so we can make preparations for you. But you can just show up. You can register on site. And something that we've kind of failed to mention a little bit when we're announcing all of these amazing classes, because there's like six or seven total, yeah. whereas before we were only doing three adult classes. Yeah. But everything for your kids is continuing. Absolutely. Right? Royal Rangers girls troop gamers all of that nursery all the way through 12th grade again six seven eight six seventh and eighth graders middle school next harvest for your high schoolers okay whole family there's something for everyone and it's one i heard miss elisa henry who was supposed to be I making know, announcements again, today where is elisa? she said it's an hour of power God, one but, hour on back sunday nights Joe. i apologize <laughs> to you i don't know what happens when you're supposed to make the announcements but I get in the Holy Ghost, and you never get to do it. We love you so much. I love you. And we, I loved your book. We, oh, what? I loved your book, and that's what I was going to talk about, but you did a great job talking well, about it. Well, how many books did you read last year? 120. That's very exciting, the audio book, because I'm a big audio book reader. So it's exciting that you have your audio book out, yes. but yes. I recommend the physical and the digital so you can highlight, write notes. Amazing. Yes. yes. So there you go. You did so good, Joe. <laughs> this is Joe Henry. And we love him so much. And they have a little boy called the great Alexander. And if you ever meet him, you'll know why. Hallelujah. Do you love Jesus? Like, are you ready to start another service? Because, like, I got a sermon. No? Okay. Wednesday night, tonight, get here at 5.30. Class starts at 6, ends at 7. We love you. God bless every single one of you. I love you whether anybody else does or not. Now, that was a service. And what you saw was an organic, authentic revival service. Yes. And we're continuing to stay in this season of revival here at World Harvest. And so we want to remind you again about picking up revival. If, if you don't have it, Pastor did a great job walking you through the whole pack that's available. We already have ours here. And so we want you to get yours too. And as Miss Ashton said, the special for $40 for the, the book, the audio, the study guide, the devotional, it's only 24 hours, so you're gonna need to jump on that quickly uh, if you want 
that. Yes. Now, speaking of revival, if you had the opportunity to ask the Lord to come into your life and you said that prayer of salvation, click the button or comment saved with your email and we'll send you the New Direction book, which will be, you know, the greatest tool going forward outside of the Bible, of course, for you going forward in your journey. Right. So many last little announcements to get in just really quickly. Again, Faith and Family Nights night here in Columbus. Be here at 530. We got VIP weekend coming up March 3rd, 4th, and 5th. And a special announcement and special invitation from our pastor that this Wednesday night, 7 p.m., yes. that the Tabernacle's opening again for Revival Night. We're going to be live online 7 p.m., which has been consistent, but we want to let everybody know by invitation of pastor this Wednesday, Tabernacle's open here in Columbus. Columbus, Ohio, 7 p.m. Get here early because the revival fires are hot and everybody has been asking about this for so long. Can we get back together? Can we get back together? Well, it's here this Wednesday, 7 p.m. We love you guys. Thank you for joining us this morning and we'll see you online soon. Sowing into the kingdom of God has never been easier or more secure than with smart giving. Any smartphone will work. To use your smart giving, open your text messaging app and send a message to the number 45777. In the message of your text, type the amount of your gift, space, WHC. If it's your first time giving, you'll receive a secure link to set up your account. Select your home campus, enter your giving method, and where you would like to receive your instant giving receipt. If you are already registered, the process is just the same. Just send a text number 45777. In the message of your text, type the amount of your gift, space, WHC. If it's your first time giving, you'll receive a secure link to set up your account. Select your home campus, enter your giving method, and where you would like to receive your instant giving receipt. If you are already registered, the process is just the same. Just send a text message to 45777. Type the amount of your gift, space, WHC. You'll receive your receipt immediately. If you prefer, you can also sew online at whc.life or by phone or mail. Just call the number on your screen or send your gift to the address displayed.
Come on, ask him right where you are. 